If you're trying to find out how to hide blank data labels but keep the zeros, then keep on watching. In this video, I'll teach you exactly how to do it. So before we jump in, if you find this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel. That said, we have a data set consisting of months and profits. And the objective here is to create a line chart such as this one that hides all blank data labels. That is, whenever we have a blank data value, those values do not default to zero. However, actual zeros, such as these ones over here, show on the bar chart. Okay, so this is our starting point. We have two columns, one for month, one for profit. So to accomplish this, the ideal way is to create a helper column first. So I'll create a helper column for profit. So I'll create a new column and I'm going to insert a very simple if statement in this column. And that if statement is currently displayed on the screen. So it goes as follows, equals sign if the value in column B is equal to null then double quotation space double quotation and this helps identify the blank as a space so this way every time we have a blank data label it's going to be hidden instead of being recognized as a empty cell in which excel defaults that as zero on a data label it's going to be identified as a space and this way it will not appear in the data label that's why we're creating this helper column double quotation space double quotation otherwise it's going to be the value in column b2 as so there we go and we'll drag this all the way down now we're going to be using the, the helper column we just created for the purpose of creating our line chart so i will select and highlight our month column and our helper column and then i'll go to insert i'll go to the chart section and i'll select the line chart that i have in mind so i'm going to clean this up a little bit here there we go and now it's time to add the data labels. And to do that, I'll just right click on the line chart. I'll go to add data labels and the labels have been added. So as you can see, the data labels have been applied. However, as you can see, we have an issue. Here. And the issue is whenever we have a blank, it's showing it as zero. In other words, the blanks are defaulting to zero and that's not what we want. We want the actual zeros to show, in this case, these last three zeros. However, we want the nulls to just show as null. So there's one last step you have to take in order for this to take effect. So I'll right click on the data labels again. I'll go to format data labels and this right hand panel appears. And in this right hand panel, you have to check the box that says value from cell. So I'm going to check this box. This little box over here appears. It says data label range, select data label range. And I'll left click on this up arrow here and I'll select a range. And that range is the helper column, all the data in the helper column. Make sure you do not include the header there. So I'm going to select the whole range of our helper column and I'll click on OK as so. And we also need to remove the check mark for value and show leader lines. And as soon as we do that, those unwanted zeros will be removed. So I'm going to remove this and remove this and there we go. Voila, we have it. So we were able to successfully remove and hide all blank data labels while retaining our zeros. As you can see, all zeros are showing and whenever we have a blank, those blanks are not showing in the data labels at all. And that's exactly what we want. And once again, how we did that was to for my data labels, we have to turn this option on value from cells, and we have to turn off the value and show leader lines. It have to be turned off. So in addition to blanks, this could also be applied to any other value. For example, if you don't want the values that are NA or the values that are equal to a certain text to not appear, you can include that in your helper column logic as well. And I'll give you an example. Let's say we don't want values that are equal to NA to appear in our data labels. Let's say we don't want this NA to appear. As you can see right now, it's appearing by default. We can take care of that as well. And to do that, all we have to do is enhance our if statement in our helper column and use a more advanced formula. For example, in this case, the formula we have to use is currently displayed on the screen. So all I have to do is add a new condition to this formula. So instead of just having an if statement, now I'm going to create an if or statement. So I'm going to click the check mark. I'm going to drag this all the way down. And there we go. As you can see, all values that are equal to NA or null are not appearing in the data label section of our line chart. 
and that's exactly how we want it. And we can enhance our helper column to include as many conditions as we have in mind. It could be either a blank or an NA or any other text or number that we have in mind. We can include that in the logic of our helper column. And that's how it's done. And that's how you can create a line chart and hide all blank data labels while keeping zeros. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future videos. See you soon.